Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And uh, you know there's somebody who says you know but you are not condemning PF. I am. I am. And I picked it. A case of uh, Frank Dad. That if indeed what that is what happened, everybody, you know, or maybe, maybe not everybody, most of these youths, you know, under PFO were wielding guns. And some of them they didn't even have license to you know you know to carry guns. So it was a breakdown of law and order under PFO. Is that happening under the UPND right now? Do we have uh, current uh, happenings and circumstances that could point to uh, possible cases that will warrant such kind of conversations? Not, not to the degree, not to the degree of PF. I don't think he. Not to the degree of PF. I don't think anybody can beat you know the PF lawlessness. I'm sorry to say, I have to be charitable to the UPND. Okay, I don't, I don't think anybody. Not even UNIP would beat the lawlessness that we saw under PF. Please. Nobody. PF set its own <laughs> benchmark, which is unbeatable. They argued to that uh, aspect. The PF members themselves, which were one of them, they argued that aspect. And others are even saying, well, the, the lawlessness we are seeing in UPN is even worse no. than what was there in the, no. in the PF. No, 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 no. no. Let's be fair. You know, Paul, let's be reasonable and let's be fair. What we saw under PF maybe can only be seen in hell, <laughs> not on planet Earth. Okay? That's, a, that's a quite a strong statement. And I mean it. And I mean it. And, 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 and I don't think, I've got colleagues, you know, in, in PF, including ECL himself. Mm. But I can tell you, and I can say this to his face, hmm. if he's watching this program, what we saw under his rule was abominable. It was a sacrilege to this society. You are likening it to hell. Yes. Yes. And, 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 and for all the wrongs that UPND has done so far, I don't think they've beaten that Olympic record of the PF. They haven't. Okay? We want UPND out in 2026 for totally different reasons. And, the, you know, mainly the economic hardships that the Zambian people are facing. Not lawlessness? That, that, that is very low on the ladder. The UPND will be thrown out of office for the following high interest rates today high inflation unemployment by the youths the high cost of living are you that, are you are you in one way saying that we've seen some levels of improvement in that regard when it comes to uh, the rule of law when it comes to the lawlessness that we saw we've seen some degree of improvement no. under the up and the administration let me let, let me make this clear yeah. uh, the rule of law is not the same as law and order. Mm. That's how President Chiruba used to define it. Mm. Okay? That, it's not the same. The rule of law is a totally different doctrine in law mm. compared with, the, you know, if you compare it with the law and order. Mm. Okay? We have seen... With quite a number of, similar, under, uh, we, quite a number of similarities. We, are, we, have seen, yeah. we have seen under the UPND government a marginal reduction in lawlessness. Marginal. Marginal reduction in lawlessness. 
Okay? Mm. That we have seen. Mm. And I want to repeat. Mm. I don't think any government ever will beat the lawlessness of that we saw under PF. It was just a completely breakdown in, of law and order. In conclusion, Comrade Kabimba, recently former President Edgar Lungu announced his return and called for other opposition parties to join hands in fighting for a better Zambia. Just today, you are quoted in a newspaper attacking PF member Chishimba Kambwedi that he is a person that should not be trusted. Doesn't that affect the idea of a united opposition front? I don't want to unite with people I don't trust. Okay? You don't trust Shimbakambwe? I don't trust him. I want to be honest with you. You don't trust Shimbakambwe? No, no, no. I would never trust Shimbakambwe. If you look at his past record, I would not trust him. And if that is what the opposition unit means, I'm sorry, I'm not part of it. Look, I want, you know, uh, Paul to contribute to the development of a society of men of honesty and integrity. I want to be judged by the company I keep. And that company that I keep must not generate consternation in people and dismay. Mm. It must be company that you know, reflects on me and my character. So I was not attacking him, Chichimba Kamui. All that I was saying, I was agreeing with his nephew. Look, if, if you look at the video by Kamui, you know, which, which has been, you know, holding rank, you know, in him. Look at what he says about going back to PF. I can't go back to PF. And suggesting that I should go back to PF is an insult. I can never, never go and work with Edgar Lungu unless Edgar Lungu is out because the man is corrupt. And he goes on and on and on. And today, Shimbakambuid is whining and dining with the Edgar Lungu. How can I trust you know, a man like that? How can I, you know, in, in the name of opposition unity and working together, I'm sorry, I can't be part of that. Can you trust this here? Look, I don't want, I don't want, you know, to, you know, to, you, to, be, you, to, be, you, to be picking, you know, politics, you are referring. I'm, I'm, I'm asking this with, with, a, with a very... Uh, as an important question, because one of the things that the Zambians have been asking for is a united opposition uh, uh, front that can unseat uh, the UPND come 2026. And when we talk about key figures, the patriotic front right now is under the leadership of two people, whether it's Mao Sampa or <laughs> it is Edgar Lungu. But if we're talking about Edgar Lungu, would you trust Edgar Lungu? Let me, let me, let me answer your question this way. I have heard this theory. It's an old theory. It is a theory that ran very high during MMD. You cannot defeat MMD alone as PF. No opposition political party in this country would defeat you know, UP, uh, MMD alone. And therefore, close ranks as opposition political parties. We went into the pact Mm. with UPND, which was, which, you know, which, which you know, uh, pleased everybody and gave hope, you know, to everybody. And when that pact, you know, broke up, a lot of people, including my colleagues in UPF, in, in, in PF, blamed me and said, I, you know, I wanted the pact, you know, to fail because I wanted to be vice president. Because if the pact had succeeded, then the HH was going to be the vice president. I made a statement and said, PF is going to win this election alone. I prophesied. Mm. I didn't need a papa. Mm. I done my homework. 
as Secretary General of the party. I was chairman of the campaign and strategy committee of the party. I was chairperson of the manifesto committee. I raised part of the funds, you know, within and outside. If you remember, I was almost arrested, you know, at Lusaka International Airport by the, by the DEC. So I knew exactly what I was talking about. And what happened? PF went on to win that election with a wide margin between RB and Michael Sad. So I, I have never subscribed, you know, to this theory that if you want to unseat UPND, you can only do so in terms of numbers. Because remember, even in numbers, there are positive numbers and negatives. Once you drop below zero, mm. it's minus one. And what does minus one give you or minus 20? Nothing. So this theory that uh, politics is about numbers, so you can go, you know, and uh, grab everybody and put them together and 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 and, and, and uh, uh, heighten, you know, or, or your 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 numbers, irrespective of the character of those people, is something that I don't subscribe to. So yes, I subscribe to the principle of uh, opposition unity and coalition. But no, I will not be dragged into swimming in the same river with people that I think will conversely damage my character. Okay? Mm. I think I have a character to protect. Mm. I have to protect my character. I know there are, people, there are good people poor in PF. There are good people. There are good people in UPND that I'm prepared to work with. They have colleagues in UPND, have colleagues in PF, that is still subscribe to Michael Sata's ideals. A PF which is pro-poor. Okay? A PF that is disciplined. They are there. So, those that want to to move on with Michael Sutter's ideals. We are here as economic front. Because mm. that's what we stand for. But a PF of hooliganism, a PF of thuggery, a PF of lawlessness, you would not work with? No, would I'm you, sorry. Would you work with ECL? P ECL is not PF. Is the president of uh, the faction of the PF? Yes, but that is a problem. Would you, would, would you work look, with the? Would you work look, with the CEO? Look, let me. You, you, you are taking me into another. Don't cut the, this discussion short. I have said, and I've said this. I've, I've said this in my book, that the problem with the political parties, you know, in Zambia, they are actually not political parties. I call them social gatherings, like a funeral place. You can go and attend a funeral even if you don't know the man who has died. Even if you don't believe in the man who has died. So I call them social gatherings of people that come together to fulfill legal requirements. And then they find a figurehead who is supposed to be the overall fellow and, and cultivate in him or her the personality count. Okay? And that's why you keep on saying ECL, ECL. You are not saying PF. You are talking about ECL. You've answered the, the, the issue of the PF. I wanted, to, okay. I wanted to be clear on the issue of ECL. No. ECL is not PF. ECL is just one of the members of PF. I'm discussing PF in its entirety. Okay? And, and, and the history of the PF we saw under ECL. That's the entity I'm discussing. Okay? And I'm discussing this within the context of so-called opposition unity, so-called opposition coalition. Look, the issue here is not removing HH as an individual. That's not the issue. We have removed presidents before. Why is minimum still expensive? 
There's not many people removed ECL in 2021. Why is inflation still high? Why are interest rates still high? If the problem was ECL as an individual. We are talking about the construction of a political party which the Zambians can use as a vehicle to develop and construct a civilized society away from all these wrongs that we have seen from MMD, mm. from UNIF, MMD, up to UPND today. That's the group of men and women I want to be party to. That's the group of men and women I want to work with. The church is not my enemy. None of the guys in the men and women in UPND are my enemies. They are my colleagues. They are Zambians. They are fellow Zambians like me. I am in this project, Paul, to ensure that I contribute within the remaining you know, years of my life to bequeath to this country and to future generations a better society than this. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.